Oh, wow. Yum. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to show you how I make soya yogurt in the Instant Pot from scratch at home. As you guys know, I have been absolutely loving fruit and yogurt on it recently. And also I want to get creative with some other yogurt related recipes, but I don't really love the stuff from the shops. It's full of loads of sugar and it's full of loads of gums and just weird ingredients that I don't even understand. So therefore I want to take it back to basics and I want to start making my own yogurt. And apparently it's super simple. We're going to be on this journey together. So let's do it. So the one thing that I have learned from all my research is that you need to have soy milk that only has two ingredients soya and water and as you can see this one is exactly that um so i know you can get loads of different brands this is the one that i've got it's the alpro organic soya um no sugars obviously totally unsweetened and very very um basic so this is the kind of stuff you want i don't think the recipe will work properly if you have soya milk with loads of gums and loads of additives and stuff it needs to be very basic so the second ingredient that you're going to need is either some vegan yogurt to act as a starter, or you can also use some probiotics as well. But today I've got this vegan yogurt and I thought, why not just use this? Because um, otherwise I need to go and buy some you know, probiotics. I don't have time for that. I want yogurt right now. Okay. So because this is going to be a fermented product, I want to make sure that what I'm using is nicely sterilized. So I'm quickly going to boil some water. I'm going to sterilize this bad boy just to make sure there's no like bad bacteria growing in there because we definitely do not want that. And obviously you're going to need a clean instant pot, not one that's full of rice. So also let's get rid of this. <laughs> All clean. Ah, the other thing you need is a container that actually fits in your instant pot. So let's go find one. Aha, here we go, that should. Oh no, too tall, too tall, too tall. Okay, maybe this one. Let's see if this one works. That should just about squeeze in, I reckon, yeah. So as I mentioned, I'm just gonna sterilize this with some boiling water to make sure it's nice and clean. So this recipe is super, super simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our yogurt. So like I said, I'm using Alpro Greek style plain yogurt. This is the one I have been using. It's the best one I've found. Um, but like I said, it's got loads of rubbish in it. Okay, so I'm going with two tablespoons of yogurt. Again, you could use probiotic capsules if you wanted to. I think it's recommended to use about four if you're gonna use those. Okay, then we're gonna go in with some soy milk. And I'm just gonna add a little bit and just mix it around just to make sure it's all nicely incorporated. Okay, there we go. So I don't want it to explode. I don't know if it's going to explode, so I'm not gonna fill it right to the top. I'm just doing about 900 milliliters. Give it a really good mix to make sure it's all nicely incorporated. I must say, I've never made yogurt before. I find it really intimidating and I'm so excited to think that I might be able to just have yogurt whenever I want. Plus, this is so much cheaper. Okay, so all we're going to do now is we're going to pop it into the Instant Pot. You want there to be no rack, no water in there, just this metal container. We're going to wipe it on. So I'm going to put it on my yogurt setting. Now it says eight hours, but I'm wanting... 12 hours so there we go make sure it's sealed at the top and that is it now it's just a waiting game and i'm oh. i'm a bit sad that i've got to wait 12 hours to see what happens um but you guys don't so go and see what happens oh i do also want to say you obviously want to make sure that you time this right so don't do it at four o'clock in the afternoon because then your yogurt's going to be ready at four o'clock in the morning who wants to wake up at four o'clock in the morning so it's 12 to be fair i'm not listening to my own advice it's 20 past 12 which means i'm going to have to stay up until 20 past 12 this evening or my husband will have to put the yogurt in the fridge i think we're going to go with that one okay so it is the next day and my husband james stayed up till midnight to take this yogurt out of the instant pot for me i mean he always stays up until after midnight anyway so not really any different but i haven't actually tasted this yet but the thickness is blowing my mind because i saw loads of recipes where the um yogurt was quite runny and to be fair it may be but it's looking like super super sturdy like i don't know what's going on Oh my gosh, right, so let's, I think, I think let's dig into this and let's just give it a whirl, shall we? Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks incredible. Mmm. Yum! 
Romy, do you want to have a taste? Yeah. Now, Romy loves yogurt. She is a yogurt connoisseur. Um, so let's see what Romy thinks of it. Do you like it? <laughs> is it yummy? Oh, see, this is so lovely. Now I can have two ingredients, uh, like actually healthy yogurt that my kids and I can eat all the time because we love yogurt, but I don't want to give them loads of like additives and stuff. Mmm, that's really yum. Do you like it? Yeah. And this is such a great one because obviously it's not sweetened in the slightest. I really struggled to buy any yogurt in the UK that isn't like slightly sweet. And obviously if you're using it in a savoury dish, you don't want it to be sweet. So this is perfect. Okay, so it's a few days later to be honest, but we're going to jar up this yogurt. And I've just sterilised this little glass of jar. Let's pour it on in. We have eaten a considerable amount in the last couple of days. Okay, and there you have it. Homemade soya yogurt using the Instant Pot. Two ingredients, super healthy and fantastic multi-purpose. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. Sorry about the squeaky babies in the background. Um, but yeah, let me know down below if you try it out. Oh, I also wanted to say, if you're wanting to make a next batch of yogurt, make sure you save a little bit of this so you can use it as a starter for your next round.